Well then, this is a film. Obviously, it's going to go on Reggie on the road. It wouldn't go anywhere else. But this is a film for George because George wanted to have a closer look at this one. Now, we've got no motor. We've got no bracket that goes there and all the gubbins and whatever. So we've this motor that came with it, um, this is... we. We we believe it's a Drummond because somebody else put it on as a Drummond and there was one on, on the old internet exactly the same, so there's no stamp. I think the all we've seen, that's the only marking on it. M eight. Um this goes around. Obviously, this goes around and this thing somehow meshes into that somehow. When it messes into that, it stops turning. So I don't know really what that is. Here are the gears. Um, that's the shaft that goes around there. Oh, here are the gears. Um, all them are there. This is this. I'm not really sure what that lever would... Oh, it moves now. What did it do before? Anyway. Huh. I didn't think that moved anyway this moves so this winds in and out nice and easily and this winds in in and out nice and easily and this moves along here and you can pull that lever there and then you wind this bit here that makes that move along hmm yeah so everything that can move moves freely there's n as far as i can see there's nothing seized i guess that holds that tight and th you release that and that moves up and down easily and if we, if we move everything as far back as we can move it you know, let's um let's move that as far back as we can move it you can see that there's no big damage nothing um it is what it is now the reason i'm making this film for george is um george got in, has been here he's seen that we're just ordinary genuine people and that makes a difference so george sent me a message saying that uh he had one that would basically just plug in and off you go and that's what basically i'm looking for and it's a, a an older vintage type one, you know what I mean. So, um, and he, 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 I said, well, will you take this in part X or, you know, do a deal with this one? And he says, well, I saw it, but I don't remember what it looked like. <laughs> so here we are, George. This is the, um, this is the lathe in part X. Obviously, there's no belt, there's no pulley, there's no motor. There's, there's an electric motor that it came with. Now, there was a few bits, a very few bits with it. Hold on, yeah, what came in here? There was something in this bucket, hold on. Get this, this up, oh yeah, ah. This came with it. So there's this, whatever that is. That came with it. And these few gears here came with it. These few gears here came with it. Oh look, that seems to have damage on it. So whether he's replaced them yet or not, I don't know. I don't know. So that 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 was in the box that came with it. And I guess it's got the the key for it. Oh, let's make sure. Yeah, the key when you wind it. They seem to be. Going in and out, okay. A little bit stiff. Maybe lack of movement, I don't know. But um, that seems to be, that seems to be working. Seems to be opening and closing, can you see? Yeah, that seems to be working. So uh, hopefully, George, this, uh, you might be able to do something with this, bring it back to life, because I know you, um, you're you more into your ways than me. I just want one that I can plug in. And I've been warned off the Chinesium ones. Mm. So, 
yeah and this is the the stand it comes on there's wood under there so hmm if there's anything particularly you want me to look at or particularly to shake or move just let me know and i'll do it oh look it connects in there as well that gear and that gear seem to mesh into this some way or somehow hmm anyway hope you find that useful george and hopefully we'll come to some sort of an arrangement mm.